Have you ever thought how we can simplify complex data sets and uncover hidden relationships between variables? Welcome to the intriguing world of factor analysis. This statistical technique born from the pioneering work of Carl Pearson and Charles Spearman over a century ago helps us identify underlying constructs or latent factors in our data. These hidden gems provide valuable insights revealing connections we might otherwise miss. Now, let's delve into the two main types of factor analysis, exploratory factor analysis, EFA, and confirmatory factor analysis, CFA. First up, we have exploratory factor analysis, better known as EFA. The purpose of EFA is to explore and uncover the underlying structure of observed variables. This is particularly useful when researchers do not have a clear idea of the number of factors or which variables should load on each factor. The key steps in EFA involve calculating the correlation or covariance matrix of observed variables, using factor extraction methods, rotating the factors for better interpretation, and examining factor loadings to understand their meaning. These steps allow the data to speak for itself, revealing patterns and structures that may not have been initially apparent. One of the greatest strengths of EFA is its flexibility. It allows researchers to explore without preconceived notions, making it an ideal tool for generating hypotheses and exploring complex data structures. EFA, with its flexibility, allows researchers to explore without preconceived notions. But what if we already have hypotheses to test? That's where confirmatory factor analysis, or CFA, comes into play. Unlike its exploratory counterpart, CFA is used when we have a clear hypothesis about the structure of underlying factors and their relationships with observed variables. This is the strength of CFA, the ability to rigorously test our preconceived notions. Now, let's walk through the key steps of CFA. First, we specify a measurement model explicitly stating our expectations about the latent factors and their connections to observed variables. Next, we estimate model parameters essentially measuring the strength and direction of these relationships. Finally, we evaluate the model fit using goodness of fit statistics. This is crucial to assess how well our model represents the actual data. If the model fits well, we can confidently confirm our theoretical constructs. If not, it's back to the drawing board. As you can see, CFA is more rigid and hypothesis-driven, testing our pre-specified notions. So, we have explored the two main types of factor analysis today. Remember, exploratory factor analysis, or EFA, is the flexible hypothesis-generating cousin, ideal for uncovering hidden structures in complex data. On the other hand, confirmatory factor analysis, or CFA, is more rigid and hypothesis-driven, perfect for confirming or rejecting theories about the structure of latent factors. Keep in mind the differences and uses of EFA and CFA as you delve deeper into the world of factor analysis. Until next time, keep exploring.